Hey everyone, it's Presley at ActoGames.com here, and today is Science Sunday, and this month's Spangler Science Kit is probably going to be messy, but really exciting and fun, because it's bubble science! So have you ever wondered why a bubble pops when it touches your hand? Well this kit will tell you a lot about it as well as it gives you these cool gloves and it doesn't have to pop when it touches these and it's really cool and it's one of the coolest things ever to kind of bounce around and juggle a bubble and it won't pop. It's just, what? Science, people. This is another thing like Ooblick, you can't understand how cool it is to play with a bubble until you've actually tried it yourself. <laughs> But if I take my other glove off, pop. So think about it. Why does it pop when it touches my bare hand, but not when it touches my gloved hand? And it's just really, really cool to think about that. Like how it's touching my bare, how it pops when it touches my bare hand. But if I have gloves hands, I can bounce it around. So it's really, really cool. And you should get this kit to find out. I'll give you a hint, it has to do with surface tension. So a bubble is held together by surface tension and you have to think about the things that break surface tension on this hand and that are not happening on this hand. And then you can find out why my gloved hands can juggle bubbles but my bare hands cannot. Or you can get the Spangler Science Kit and it will explain it to you, but first you have to make a hypothesis. Another thing about bubbles and surface area is that bubbles try and assume the, mo the smallest position with the most volume. That's why bu bubbles are usually spheres, but there is a way to make them not spheres. You can make square bubbles, and I'm going to show you how, and I'm really excited because it's a square bubble. The kit comes with the pieces to make this cube frame, and it also comes with some Dawn dish soap. But what you're going to need to get is a bucket or some container that you can fit this in and completely submerge it with water. So we're going to be using a giant bucket. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the Dawn dish soap in it. Um, Dawn dish soap is what Spangler says is the best. So I am going to be using it as well and the kit comes with it like I said. So we're going to pour that in there and then we are going to dunk the square frame into it. So now we've got our giant bucket filled with water and we are going to pour some of the Dawn dish soap into it. So you're going to need to put quite a lot. Now you get to get messy and swirl it around with your hands a little bit. I'm dunking the square into the water tank now and all right it's in and now I'm going to remove it by holding it with by the spheres so that the bubble film doesn't pop and if the bubble film pops that would be a bad so let's take it out Eat up. when it looks like this you've got the hourglass shape that you're looking for and then you're going to take your pipette and blow a bubble that lands right in the middle of that little square <gasps> i did it I made a square bubble! Look at how cool! And you can even, I'm going to attempt this, bask in the glory of a square bubble because, because I'm probably gonna accidentally pop it. I didn't accidentally pop it! And it's bigger! So that's how to make a bubble cube. And Steve Spangler tried to make other shapes using this method, but he actually was not able to do it, but he challenged everyone who got this kit to try and make the, a different shape. And it came with these pipe cleaners and straws, so you can make your own frames and try and get to make a bubble of a different shape. As always, it's just a little, little teeny taste of this kit. They're always so amazing, and one of my favorite things with this kit is like the exploding canisters kit, is it actually gives you all sorts of bubble solutions, and you can mix, dig together your own bubble solutions to find out which ones make the best bubbles, and there's a lot of experimenting involved, and it's just really, really cool to be able to experiment with different kinds of solutions and stuff like that. It reminds me of when I was ridiculously obsessed with pill bugs and millipedes, and I collected them, and I saw 
if they lasted longer in kits filled with dead leaves or kits with only a few, kits with black tops, kits with white tops. It was really cool and I definitely enjoy to be able to experiment a lot more. If you're not getting these kits by now, you certainly should. You've watched me do enough of them. They're really cool. Get them. Bubbles and science and amazing things. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.